Now, we wrestle with that objection sometimes, don't we? Stop complicating your lives with so much theology. Stop trying to be so theological. Stop making Christianity something that's academic. Oh, we, we hear that. We've even said that before, perhaps. Man, I'm so tired of reading these books and learning more of this and that. And, well, that's what Paul's hearing. He's saying, Paul, you're, you've been studying so much, you've become a fool. But Paul doesn't agree. Paul disagrees. Paul defends his learning. Paul was a student. He was a learner. He was a scholar. He was engaged in much learning. But he denies that that is driving him mad. Just listen. Let me just give you an example of Paul the scholar. Paul the student. Near the end of his life, Paul, you may recall, was imprisoned in Rome. He writes about this in, in 2 Timothy. Most of his friends had deserted him. He was cold. He was lonely. As he writes in 2 Timothy 4, verse 6, he knew that he was already being poured out like a drink offering. You might say he was on his deathbed. Not that he was, but that he was approaching execution. And what does he say? What does he write in verse 13 of 2 Timothy 4? He says, Timothy, I need you to bring me a few things. First of all, I want you to bring me my cloak, which I left in Troas because I'm cold. But secondly, he says, bring the books, especially the parchments. Can you believe that? He's about to die. He's learned so much already. But he says, hey, I'm going to keep studying till the end. Bring my books. Bring the parchments. In fact, some of Paul's last words, as recorded in 2 Timothy 2, verse 15, are these. And please pay attention to the first word. I use the King James Version here. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. How should we show ourselves approved unto God? By studying. By studying. Much learning, you see, was not driving Paul mad. Much learning, much Christian devotion, much study does not drive us mad. It didn't drive Paul mad. It what? It drew him to Christ. Much learning drew Paul to Christ, which is why Festus, as an unbeliever, didn't get him, didn't understand him, said, Paul, you're crazy, you're out of your mind, much learning is driving you mad. It was, in fact, the opposite. Festus was the fool because he hadn't learned Christ as Paul had. 